Welcome to NGO CSW Virtual Forum. Welcome to a new world of advocacy and action. Here we are after years of gathering women's voices at the Commission on the Status of Women at United Nations, we agreed to go fully virtual with our forum due to the global pandemic. How can we recreate the energy that happens when women gather? That is up to all of us. We know one of the most effective gatherings in our advocacy happened 25 years ago at the Fourth World Conference on Women in Beijing. It changed how gender equality was addressed in so many ways. Now we have an opportunity to recreate it. Uh, between two famous people, I think you know them. <laughs> oh, good morning so and thank you. Uh, thank you, Huri, and, uh, and thank you to the colleagues for inviting me to be part of this conversation. Uh, indeed, this uh, CSW session this year will be going also mostly virtual. And since it has been the largest gathering of the NGO community also at UN, it's unfortunate that we will not be seeing each other in person, but I'm very excited to, to, to learn that there are around 20,000 participants uh, Thank virtually. Thank you, uh, uh, well, Ambassador, for kickstarting uh, this CSW week uh, with the wise words and spelling out our homework uh, these coming two weeks. Uh, my message uh, to colleagues uh, in civil society is please make sure that uh, you are there virtually uh, to accompany the negotiations as you do always. Let's find a way of making sure that the presence of civil society uh, is felt. The Vienna There's a mountain that stands before us, towering and intimidating. It daunts the possibility of equality. There's a mountain that stands before us that allows black girls like me to dream, to dream of the moments where we strive to one day climb that mountain and reach the top. There's a mountain that stands before us, yet only some are lucky enough to climb. Only some have the advantage to reach the top. In the distance, a light beams off the top of the mountain. We get a first glance, a first chance to believe that we can reach the peak. What a CSW monitors and reviews progress and problems in the implementation of the Beijing Declaration and the Beijing Platform for Action, which 25 years on is still the most progressive policy document we have globally for the rights of women and girls. Some we will be having around eight, person, eight people per breakout room and we will be discussing the questions that are currently on the PowerPoint. Please do select someone to take notes. We hope that everyone from this will have an increased understanding of the issues that we're discussing today. To uh, and we hope that everyone will open. Our first region to, to speak about their work. <clears throat> and we're just going alphabetical order. So Africa region, please unmute yourself. Please put yourself on camera and tell us how you work and how we collaborate. Thank you. Africa. So the way we work really is um, each year we, we work together with the UN Economic Commission for Africa as well as UN Women in terms of uh, putting together the civil society Africa position according to the theme of, um, NG, of uh, CSW. So this year we did that. Um, we had a consultation with, with members from across the region. We had about 600 registrations and out of those, the meeting that we now had, had close to 300 um, uh, P, uh, people from all the regions in all diversities were able to support in that team. That we and still we faced so many challenges. We still have so many 
issues in front of us at the global level, we still have violence with, and COVID, as Lopa told, revealed a lot of weakness, weak structural barriers to address the violence. We see inequalities, climate emergency, so if pandemic you recovery. Your, if you have ECOSO consultative you. status, you can register, you can participate, you can submit written statements, you can um, organize parallel events, and there are uh, quite a number of opportunities to be the part of this process. Feminist movements and leadership in the time of COVID-19 I personally think our topic is great because it is so linked to what we are seeing today. And the COVID-19 pandemic, as we all know, has done extraordinary things, um, both in terms of uh, emphasizing our uh, transnational global solidarity and the impacts um, that a pandemic can bring on all of us. It's also had really devastating uh, impact on women and girls in particular in all We're parts of life. Here. From This space, as, we, as you know, was designed to, for persons to come together to raise ideas and um, exchange ideas actually on specific topics. And today's topic is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, anti-human trafficking. And it's a broad topic. So we break out into several um, breakout sessions or breakout rooms with my follow my, my fellow co-hosts. Um, at this point, I commend the script writer and the outstanding cast for so vividly depicting the brutality and devastation of sexual violence in conflict. The trauma captured in this play is sadly as relevant today in 2021 as it was 11 years ago when the play originally opened in 2010 and just one year after the creation of my mandate by the UN Security Council. Yet sexual violence is not an inevitable byproduct of war. It is preventable. Is Alpha Kappa mandate, Alpha Sorority Incorporated, founded in 1908 on the campus of Howard University, a historically black university in the United States. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated boasts over 300,000 members in over 50 countries. Members include the former president of Liberia, Dr. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, famed writer Toni Morrison, and the current vice president of the United States of America, Kamala D. Harris. Oh uh, hello, everyone. My name is Azadeh Khalili. And um, I want to uh, give you a warm greeting from uh, New York City, uh, a warm greeting to every one of you. Welcome to the Sexual and Reproductive Health and Rights Conversation Circles. This circle is sponsored by the NGO CSW New York. As I said, I am Azadeh. Desde la tierra del maíz y chimuleo. Este es el canto por una generación igualdad desde el respeto a la diversidad. Y esto dice. Es una maja cuchilla cacha el chocar y cachilla la ni cachil. Hospete en el riquín cache el. Hospete en el riquín cucho a riquín gana o a cuchilla cachilla y a cariqui cuch. Y chin rojo y pila es la pila es la pila. Really moved. Um, I have the privilege of working in UN Women in Mexico with my friend Nadine and the Mexican government and with civil society from Mexico who have made possible that we have this generation equality forum. And all I can say is that we receive the, the message, the Mexico, here we come. It's like you, you sent us the, 
the paper, the piece of paper, I take it here. <laughs> and uh, from UN Women Mexico, in coordination with our partners here, we will do our best for this Generation Equality Forum to be a vibrant moment, to be a moment where we can listen to each other, where we can raise the bar and the voice.